Hey guys, Olivia here. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be trying to make a couple of different healthy things that we can be putting in our lunchbox. Oftentimes, if I don't have anything available quick and easy, we tend to go for things that aren't necessarily the best for us. I haven't been buying those things, so they're not really in the house, but I don't want to tempt anyone because I've definitely had enough of my fair share of things like that. So we're trying to be a bit better here, trying to get rid of processed foods, and this is one of the ways that I do it. Tonight, the plan is to make a couple of different types of energy balls, which are really pretty good. I've made them before. I'm gonna experiment a little bit with things that I have in the cupboard, try a few different recipes out, um, maybe make three different types of those energy balls. And then, as a bonus, I've got some pizza dough left over from dinner tonight, and I think I'll make some pizza scrolls. Not necessarily the most healthy of things, but I think that'll be super delicious, super convenient to have it in the freezer too. Everything I'm making tonight is freezer friendly, so much easier to keep it all in there. It means I can pull out what I need for lunches, for snacking, whatever I need it for, I've got it available. It also means that we can eat it before it goes gross, because I'm not going to go to all this effort and not, not be able to eat it in the end. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get all the ingredients that I think I might use, I'm going to put them out here, show you what I've got, show you what I'm thinking, and then we're going to get straight to making those energy balls. I should just let everybody know too that I am not a professional chef. I don't really know what I'm doing too much here. I'm just giving it a go. So this recipe is not something that you need to stick with because I don't really have a recipe. I'm just kind of going off the seat of my pants and what sounds good. With that said, I'm gonna start working on the pizza dough because I can have it in the oven while I am working on the energy balls. So I'm just gonna roll out some dough, put some stuff on it, cut it up, put it in the um, oven and see if that works. Fingers crossed. I'm just rolling out some pizza dough that was left over from dinner tonight. I'm not doing anything fancy or crazy or cool. Um, I quite like this pizza dough recipe. Um, I use it all the time. I'm just using some pasta sauce and I'm also going to top it with some leftover bacon from dinner tonight. You could add like a whole bunch of stuff but I'm keeping this relatively simple because I know that's me and my kids going to eat it. So I'm also using the last bit of shredded cheese that I have. Focusing on the middle, I figure it'll work out great. And then I am rolling it, which is not as easy as it looks. And it does not turn out the greatest. Look at this mess. Atrocious. Yeah, this is the ugly. So I'm cutting it into eight different pieces and then popping it on this tray. Um, I cook it in an oven for about 180 degrees for 15 minutes. Just keep checking on it. I think about 10 minutes actually. And then I'm also topping it with the last tiny bit of cheese so that it melts nice. So this is before it pops in the oven. Here I am making my first energy bowl and I'm measuring my ingredients the first time around. This one is just pretty much a simple peanut butter one. I'm using a peanut butter that has a bunch of different seeds and things in it. A bit of maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon. And then I try to put it in my mixer, which was a terrible idea to begin with, but it was late at night and I wasn't really thinking. And then look, it doesn't really work. So I come up with a better idea. Food processor made it so much easier. As you can see, it's pretty wet, which is exactly how you want it. You want it to stick together so that you can roll it into balls. I make a whole bunch of these balls and then I pop these in the fridge to let them kind of set while I start working on the second one. Now I'm going to make more of a sweet one. This is a chocolate chip. I've shoved the chocolate chips in there. I'm using an oat butter. I think it's got oats and cashews and a little bit of dates maybe in it. So that with the rolled oats, a bit of vanilla essence, some maple syrup, and then I just pop the lid on and start mixing. Super easy to roll them out. And this one looks pretty good with the chocolate chips, I think. The final one, I don't even bother measuring. I just kind of shove a bunch of stuff in there. This is the last bit of some peanut butter, some shredded coconut, and then I have these caramel toasted coconut chips. Put a bit of maple syrup in there, a bit of vanilla. This one's a little bit of a sweeter caramel kind of coconut that I'm going for. If you're finding that your balls aren't really sticking together, 
can add more peanut butter, whatever nut butter you choose, or add a little bit of water to it. And then once you get the consistency right, they'll roll into balls really easy for you. So this is the other balls. It's pretty late now. Actually, I didn't get finished as early as I wanted to, but I didn't start until pretty late too. What I have done is I've made three different types of the energy balls and I've also finished off my pizza scrolls. What I need to do next is to either pop them into the fridge or the freezer. I think today I'm gonna to pop them in the fridge, let them sit overnight, and then in the morning I will package them up into the different flavorings, pop them in the freezer. Same thing with the pizza scrolls because I really want them to cool down before they go into the freezer. I just don't want the ice to be developing and things on them, so I'm gonna let them cool down. I'm gonna pack that away into the fridge, pack up all this stuff, and um, finish this video off tomorrow when I put it all away in the freezer. I wanna show you guys what that looks like. So everything turned out nice. I'm just packaging these up into a freezer bag. As you can see, they've hardened in the fridge. They're not squishy. I throw all of them in. I don't really care about the flavorings. You can tell that some of them look a little bit different, so that's the way I tell them apart, but otherwise they're all just gonna go in this bag, go in the freezer, and I will pull out what I need when I need them.